Hey gang, I'm back. The internet is being really weird. I do not know why. So I'm just going to try to get through this cutscene, and then we will call it a day, because clearly uh, they want us to uh, stop. Uh, so we're going to get through the cutscene, and then we're going to call it a day, and then I'm going to sort of try to upload these little pieces. Uh, so he asks... There is no telling how many mages we needed for such an endeavor, ambitious indeed. Um, and I have to choose between, then you'll help us, we don't think small here, and I'll take whoever you've got. And I don't really want to, like, commit to, like, a friendship with this guy yet, so I'm going to sort of do this sort of middle choice, we don't think small here. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. Ooh. Felix. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Thanks. I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. Something's wrong with his son. There's just weirdness I going on here. To the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. One, I don't like any of this. It's all bad. Thanks, Artie Snack. Oh, Come he's... To the chantry. You are in danger. Ooh, he slipped me a note. Well, that's exciting. That? Why would he help you? I don't know. But it's worth investigating. We'll be careful. But we need to figure out what's going on here. Yes, we do. Uh, and now we're oh we and now we're in this pub. So this is what we're gonna do because who knows what's going on with the internet. I'm gonna talk to people in the pub, then I'm gonna go to Haven, and then we're out. Uh, let's um talk to Magister Alexius does not approve of those without magic like you and me. You may not wish to stay long. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. Hmm. Why does he disapprove? No, when did they arrive? How long have Tevinters been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. Hmm. What's the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? Hmm, oh, you're Tranquil? You're one of the Tranquil? Yes, my talent for magic was insufficient to protect me from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the Circle removed my connection to the Fade. My magic is gone, along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. Hmm. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am. I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, perhaps I can offer my services. Certainly, please join us. I would don't want you here in this terrible space. I would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. Uh, I'm glad that he's with us because I don't really want him staying in this place that seems really hostile. You know? Alright, there's a... what is this? A book? The Crows and Queen Madrigal. The first crow refused to speak, even when we put hot coals to the soles of his feet and peeled the skin off his face and hands with a paring knife. He opted instead to chew through his own tongue and choke to death on the blood. The second captive repeated what we already knew. Queen Madrigal, Madrigal went on a hunt and did not appear for the evening's festivities. Her body was later found with four steel swords through her chest. I asked what he knew about one of the four swords being a replica of Hesarian's Sword of Mercy. He had not heard about that, or at least claimed as such. He later died on the rack, smiling slightly. The third crow must have realized he would not leave the dungeon alive. He seemed to hope that by angering Master Fiore, he would earn himself a quick death. 
The crow tried our patience with pithy comments while Master Fiore was trying to work. At one point, he made a remark about Fiore's mother, which I shall not repeat here. I will admit to feeling admiration for his ability to retain a capacity for coherent speech, and even some wit while under extreme duress. Amid all his useless chatter, this third crow did raise an important point. His guild has a reputation to uphold. They are ruthless, efficient, and discreet. How would they maintain such notoriety if agents routinely revealed the names of employers with something as banal as torture? This gave me pause. I called for a halt to the session. After some thought, I stabbed the man through the heart and set the fourth and fifth crow captives free. If there is a confession to be extracted, it will not be done with pain. I recommend we abandon this course of action. A report by Captain Aristide, tasked with investigating the assassination of Queen Madrigal of Antiva. Uh, well, that's intense. Uh, that's very intense indeed. Uh, this guy? Inquisition, huh? I wish to Holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. Me too. Uh, let's find out what's going on. Uh, tell me about the Alliance. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Devinter? One minute, we were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a Magister out. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way. Out of the prime pan. Yeah, I don't like any of this. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Name's Talwin. Formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburgh. Lived my whole life. Since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three meals a day. Quality education. A roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower's a fine place to be. Uh, so you're not with the Rebellion? If you were happy in the circle, why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels. As mm. The majority wanted to dissolve the circles. The rest of us went with them and were cut loose. There are still some of us who are loyal in the Empress's court. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. Hmm. And I assume you don't like to, to venture. You're not happy with this new alliance? Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with magisters. Okay. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tevinters likely aren't happy you're asking questions. Well, I mean, I'm, you know, asking questions. It's kind of what I do. So I'm just walking outside, and then we'll, you know, go to Haven and save. And then we'll go and we'll see each other next week and we'll find out what goes on. Ooh, I'm excited. And we'll have a bunch of little um, bits of this on online, I'm afraid, but uh, weird internet things. I don't know what you can do about it. Uh, first time this has happened. Strange, odd. It was cutting out like that. I, I don't know. Do you think we're just going to be outside or do you think there'll be a cutscene? I don't know. There's music. Sort of slightly tense music? Low bass note, so clearly nothing good is happening. Okay, look. All right. See, we are absolutely fine. We are in a space where we can do cutscenes. All right, my friends, we are going to... Can we fast travel? We can. All right. Here's what's going to go on. We're going back to Haven. And uh, we're going to uh, save and call it a day for uh, this evening. I uh, Well, it's actually it's afternoon for me. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here with me. We did so much today. Uh, I'm really excited. And I'm really excited for next Saturday when we can find out what happens with this creepy, creepy to venter mage situation, which is clearly not okay. Um, so I want to thank everyone. Uh, I'm not going to cut out until after I show back up in Haven. And then... Time jumper confirmed. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is true. All right, so this is us. Um, I'm back. Wait, wait. Save. Oh, I can't save. Why can't I save? I can save. See, I can save. It's fine. All right, here we are. Frostback Mountains. We're saving. 
All right, everyone. I want to thank you all for being with me. We went a little bit long because of the problems with, uh, you know, with the internet. But we're done, and I'm really excited to find out what the next part of the story, the main story, is uh, next Saturday. I will see you all then, and uh, I will see you all on various discords before then. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much. I'm Trooper SJP. This is the Academic Foxhole, where we play games and philosophize. So uh, have a great Saturday, everyone, and have a great weekend. Goodbye, everyone.